Buy my shirt. Buy my shirt. Buy my, Buy my hat. Buy it all. Oh, it's bit. Hey everybody, what's up? If you're new to my channel, my name is Chris Clemens, or if you're one of my Clementines, welcome back to this function that is my channel. What am I hiding behind my back, you ask? <laughs> uh, something I can't show you, I say. Have I said more fluent sentences in English? Yes. Okay, for real though, pause for a second. Not wasting this. <coughs> hey guys, hey again. It's still me. What a beard. Thank you. Are you Irish? Whoa! That was a plot twist! Alright guys, we're back on the street. I know I've been vlogging. I've really been into vlogging, which is shocking. But I miss being out here! Ah, uh, there. We have people, actually. Which means they're gonna go away in five minutes, so Chris, hurry the fucking intro up. The world is just kind of bleak right now. News is pretty slow. Julia Fox has apparently put away her eyeshadow. So I just want to get to know... <laughs> the people. Hey. You look like Noah Centineo. I look like a koala? Slash panda, that's fucking great. Thank you. It's the last thing I needed today. I just wanted to ask strangers some questions. Get to know people. Get talking. Is this how chaotic my videos usually are? Cool. You didn't need to nod to that asshole. So I do want to address that I won't be wearing a mask. No, but I'm gonna try it out right now and see how we feel in this video. For one, I mean, I took a bad baby on her offer. We're outside. Two, there is no mask mandate. And three, you lose so much by... Like, guys, I... The way I'm justifying this is that I am brave enough to show this part of my face. <laughs> you guys, the videos just aren't the same without it. Mask mandate's gone, crazy! Are you excited about it? Oh, absolutely. I feel like it was kind of more of a hassle to like, oh shit, I forgot my mask, so I gotta go back. Well, you also have a fucking jawline that you don't need to hide, okay? Some of us aren't given that gift. Calm down. So you guys are visiting LA? Yes, from Austin, Texas. What's your biggest pet peeve about the other? Let's start some family beef. <laughs> She's a big mess. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, you and my mom would have saying that in common. Yeah, I'm I'm not the I'm no 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 here. This is your time to no. send it back. Well, she likes to like push her way through people a lot and like push in front Sometimes I can be aggressive. I'm a, native You're a pushy New penny native New Yorker. Oh yeah. shit. Don't fuck with you What's something that's got you really heated right now this weather? No. <laughs> this weather isn't even hot my nipples no. are about to literally rip through my shirt uh Oh, are you just in the world or just in your life in your world? What's what's pissing you off? I try to stay, you know, as level-headed as possible. I must say, you know, a little... are you from here? <laughs> no, I'm from the Bay Area up north. Okay, got it. <laughs> I've had enough. I'm trying to like think of some things to give you some more ammunition. No, no, no. I shouldn't like force people to be miserable. God bless you for having like mental peace. I don't even know what that's like. What's in the bag? Weed? Oh yeah. It's all about balance. Life no, I... is life is balance. Life no, is all I know. About... That's how I open this video with balance. <laughs> now, when was the last time you cried? Oh, that's a good question. I was on the plane and while I was watching. Uh... Were you on the plane with Dwayne? No, I don't know Dwayne. Oh, okay. I was on the plane, and I was watching. Uh... That movie uh, with Katniss. You remember Katniss? You mean Hunger Games? I was watching that, yeah. Yeah, that movie with Katniss. Yeah, it's fucking Katniss Everdeen. It was my daughter watching the, the show, right? And I was just kind of peering over her shoulder. You know how you do when you're sitting next to somebody on a plane and you kind of watch what they're watching? I'm more of like a take 60 milligrams and slowly nod off and lean on the person next to you. And it just kind of broke me up. Yeah. Were you even listening to it? No, no, no. It was silent. Just the images, yeah. You know, and Katniss, and she shoots the arrow, and it explodes, and the world blows up. Don't spoil it. I mean, <laughs> people could <laughs> people could be nine years late to it. And I guess that's over. Scene. I just asked a lady if she wanted to be in a video, and she was like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't. I've got to go to my husband and kids. No, you don't. Babe, this can be your exit. Let's get out of here. What's something I should ask or tell the next person I interview? Oh, God, that's a good question. What's your worst dating story? Okay. I'm down for that. Bad, a bad date. What's the worst date you've ever been on? Ooh. You say it. Oh, I meant individually, but now that I know that there is a bad date, I want to know about it. I don't even think, I don't even think we've been on a bad date. Oh, yeah, I don't, th I don't think there is either. I don't think there's a super bad one. I've never- I've Your eyes just said a completely <laughs> different story, guys! You're bullshitting a bullshitter! What's the most embarrassing date or worst date you've been on? I went out with this guy just the other day to Santa Monica Pier and like froze to death because it was like windy as hell. And I still have a hurt heel. <laughs> it's so hurt. I'm hurt. Oh, and Did you fall off the pier? What happened? No, I wore these shoes and I walked like a mile and a fucking half in them. They were brand new. And then after that, um, 
he told me that I wanted to be alone and I didn't want to talk to him anymore and like I never seen it, saw him again. So he watched you walk a mile in those Louboutins and he said no. I don't date men and I'm just like, forget it, I'll just be single, it's fine. Yeah, I think we're all in that boat at this point in time. We're like, fuck, if we're not getting it after the pandemic, it's never coming. Not great. Might as well just say fuck it all together. And, and then fuck yourself. Amen. You just gasped and said you wanted to be in this? Yes. What are you listening to? Um, right now I'm listening to this song called Sugar. By who? Amores. Okay, well, thank you, Discover Weekly. What would you say is a hidden talent of yours? I can drink a juice really fast. Really Do fast. it. <laughs> I don't know, you just said that's your talent. Okay. Oh, you spilled on your shirt. I feel responsible now. Oh my God, and you look like you had a nose. Oh my God, you look like my roommate. Hi, Andrew. I didn't deliver. Do you have a tied to go pen? No, I mean, I barely have like energy to get through this sentence. All right, so I'm just gonna carry this guilt with me for uh, ever. Look, I might just tie dye it. Or something. I, <laughs> I'm gonna walk like this. Well, yeah, walk like this. That's, that, yeah, that's smart for sure. Good, good luck. I'm sorry. We're gonna play a fun game called Helen Mirren or Helen Keller. Helen Mirren or Helen Keller? She flew a plane. Mirren. Not Keller. Yeah, no. Why? Why do you think? Based on... Based on previous knowledge, <laughs> I'm just gonna say the smart answer. It's actually the dumb answer. Helen Keller flew a plane. How'd it go? <laughs> Better than Amelia Earhart, bitch. Now, who wrote an autobiography? Helen Keller or Helen Mirren? Um, Helen Keller. Wrong, they both did. <laughs> Helen Mirren or Helen Keller? Who had a cameo in Forrest Gump? The first one you mentioned, Helen Mirren, or? Helen Mirren? Yeah. Neither oh, did. No, you know, I'm just... It's okay, someone thought Helen Mirren flew a plane earlier. Do you know who either Helen is? Is Helen Keller blind? Yeah, and she's also deaf and mute, so okay, she's yeah, kind yeah. of a triple threat. What do you have against Helen Mirren and her apparent inability to write? Nothing, I just don't know who Helen Mirren is. And I respect your honesty, that's brave. <laughs> she is dame. No, wait. Oh, am I thinking of Judy Dench? Apparently you don't know who Helen Mirren is either. And apparently you are right. So, <laughs> bye. Who graduated from college, Helen Keller or Helen Mirren? Helen Mirren, Helen Keller. You both are right. They both graduated from college. <laughs> yes, thank you. Oh, wow, you were nervous. I was nervous. Why? I don't want to say something <laughs> stupid. No, that's my job fully. And that's why I'm employed. Do you have any hidden talents? Oh my god, I could do a Dora impression. Vominos, bitch. Let's do it. Okay, wait. I gotta. Oh, gotta I get into my character. Vocal warm up. Of course. <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Hola, soy Dora. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It was kind of good. Hola, Dora. What would you say is your red flag? Like in dating? In general, just a red flag that you possess. I don't know. Like what toxic characteristic do you have? I don't know, I guess it could be I drink too much, but that's a little bit boring. Uh, okay, or your red flag is that you're not answering this fucking question, <laughs> yeah, so. I, I do. I just think I'm great, maybe that's my red flag. Oh. <laughs> Confidence. What drugs have you been abusing lately? Oh, shrooms. Yeah, a lot of shrooms. We were just talking about that. Are you on them right now? Yes. Are you? Yeah, I actually took them this morning, yeah. What, what am I looking like? What am I looking like? Like how am I? <laughs> no, no, what am I? Oh, like beautiful, very vibrant. That's why the hair color stood out to me. Colors are very green and bright and. Yeah, it just makes the world beautiful. That's I could hear you talk about your experience right now for hours. I have bad depression and anxiety when I tell you. Works so much better than anything I've ever tried, like Prozac or any of that kind of stuff. All right, well, tell that to my Wellbutrin Lexapro <laughs> combo, because I'm Dead. flying. What's a celebrity you would not want to meet and why? Probably uh, Cardi B. Fuck Cardi B. What did Cardi B do to you? I don't know. I just don't like her. And that's it? No reason? No reason. Wow, that's a brave man. I didn't expect you to roll by on your skateboard having beef with Cardi B. What was the last argument you had? Um, probably with him. Get the fuck in here. I We're holding court. I'm Judge Judy, bitch. The argument was, are we going to go to straight bars or gay bars? I was very upset because she wanted to go to straight bars, but we never have fun. What? I thought you would be the one to want to go. So who ended up winning? Well, neither. We went to straight bars first, and then we went to gay bars, but then it ended in an argument. What was the argument about? You got both got what you wanted. Well, it's because I couldn't find anybody to hook up with, and then we went to gay bars, and I guess I was unhappy, and then he was like, we went to a gay bar, like a straight bar for you, so you can hook up with somebody you didn't even hook up with anybody, and it was a whole thing. Can I have your name? <laughs> Mateen. 
I'm on your team. I'm on my team's team. Yeah, I'm sorry. You didn't win that one. The gay bar was the same as the straight bar. You didn't hook up with someone at the straight bar. We're besties. We've been besties. We'll always be besties. Wow, I love that. Thanks, guys. Yeah, of course. Wow, she just turned around and really said, I don't get the joke. There there was none. I was just talking. What's an embarrassing sex story you have? Oh, uh, fuck. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, yeah, but I kind of had one. Uh, so what is it? All right, we're, I was doing it with my girl, and, uh, you know, I had her, like, legs up, and I guess when I pulled out, I went back in, and it went in her butt, and she kind of, like, panicked, got up, it hurt, and then she fainted and broke the mirror. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, I was going to joke saying, I don't know, did you slip it in the wrong hole? You literally did, and then your girlfriend went unconscious. Are you guys still together? Yeah, we are. Wow, that, that, wow, I, I am actually, I don't have anything to say. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't know that was like first thing popped in my head. No, 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 yep, mm-hmm, yep, thank you, yep, yeah. I'm sorry, that was the first thing that popped into his head. Was his head popping into something else? Now, what substances are you abusing lately? Alcohol mostly. Alcohol mostly? And a little marijuana. I'm like the opposite. I'm like a lot of marijuana and a little alcohol. <laughs> so you might just be my long lost twin. Are you drunk right now? Yeah. Yeah, no, I can I, smell I, it for sure. Really? Yeah, no, it's... Don't say that on the air. Well, we're not on the air. We're not live. What this is like... We? I don't know, fucking trying. Um, did I just tell off the parking officer who gave me a ticket in my last street interview? Yes. Did he laugh? Against his will. <laughs> I just got dizzy from the spin. Who boy. Can I read your most recent notes app? <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying that you've uh, set the bar pretty high based no. off of that reaction, but... It's called PU. It's pickup lines. Are you a parking tickets? Because you got fine written all over it. That's a little insensitive in the parking area where... I oh, there's... Hey, parking enforcement. Are you a parking ticket? Because you've got fine written all over it. Okay, that one that one didn't do great. Maybe it's not our demographic. No, that is like the literal demographic for this pickup line. Virgins. <laughs> what? No, 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 it's cool. There's nothing wrong with being a virgin. Unless you go on The Bachelor. Don't do that. Oh, God. I'm looking at you, Colton. The best compliment I got was you have a great smile. It's contagious. I don't need a vaccine for that. This is like during the pandemic. So these are No, I, I, I definitely got the... No, that was not the best one. I will tell you that. Yeah, you don't want to be in it? Only if it's pouring in a lot of money. Okay, yeah, no, I get that for sure. Why is that not the first time that someone said, only if it's porn? I'm open. I didn't say I was against being in porn. I just don't want to be filmed doing it. Okay, I hear it. <laughs>